Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Vivado. So what is Vivado? Vivado Design Suite is a software suite produced by Xilinx for the synthesis and analysis of HDL designs, superseding ISE, with additional features for system-on-a-chip development and high-level synthesis. It's been described as well-conceived, tightly integrated, blazing fast, scalable, maintainable, and intuitive. In short, it makes creating code for FPGAs easier. This video is going to cover installation and setup of Vivado and the board files. Later videos will cover topics such as creating a project, understanding the files, working with simulations, and even working with RP. So, let's just jump right on into it. You'll need an internet connection, a fair amount of hard drive space, a fair amount of hard drive space, and one of the following supported operating systems. Of course, if you're using a different operating system, you can always use a virtual machine to install Vivado. So, let's get this installed. All you need to do is to navigate to the website and click download. The Webpack version is sufficient for most purposes, as well as the board we'll be using through these videos. The board you have doesn't really matter much, but we'll talk more about that in a bit. At the time of making this video, the latest version available is 2019.2. There's a lot of information on this page, but I'll try and keep it concise. The first link is pretty big, 9 gigs. That's ridiculous for a browser-based download. So, making sure we're on the Vivado tab, we're going to scroll down and look for the self-extracting web installer. You can get these for pretty much any major operating system. So, go ahead and download the one that fits your operating system. You'll be redirected to a sign-in page. If you don't have an account, Creating one is free. Once you've created an account and signed in, you'll need to fill in a simple form detailing how you'll be using the software. Once that's done, scroll down to the bottom and click download. Once downloaded, click and run the installer. It might take a while to start up, so don't stress. For the most part in this installer, you can just follow the prompts. This is the first screen you'll see once the installer has started. On the second screen, enter your login credentials. Leave Download and Install Now as the selected option and click Next. Agree to the terms and conditions and click Next. We can install any of the Xilinx products from this installer, but we're interested in Vivado, so select that and click Next. There are a few versions of Vivado available. Looking at the website, the webpack offers everything we might need. And, recently, they've added the Vivado Logic Analyzer but that's a video for another time. So, select Webpack and click Next. Now that that's done, we need to select what features we need to install. Of course, this is up to you and depends on your own reasons for using the software, but for my purposes, I'm going to install the entire design suite. I also only care about the seven series boards, so I'm going to deselect the other boards to try and save on some hard drive space. Once that's done, we can go ahead and click Next. I already have Vivado installed, and this is why you see these red arrows in front of you. But we've done all the configuration required, so go ahead and step through the installation wizard and let it download and install. Once your installation is complete, we can install the board files. Board files contain a whole bunch of details that tell the toolchain in Vivado everything it needs to know about your board, usually about interfaces such as buttons, switches, LEDs, memory, Ethernet, and the like. There are a bunch of board files available for many different manufacturers. The boards we're interested in in this video series are the Nexus boards, which are made by Digilent. To get the Digilent board files, we can just do a Google search for them. The first link should be sufficient. It'll take you to a page where you get linked to instructions on how to install them. Don't worry about reading that. Just download the files for now. Once you have downloaded them, go to where you've installed Vivado. Open the Vivado file, then the year, data, and now boards. We will store board definitions inside board files. Back in the zipped archive, we're using newer versions of Vivado, so we need to use the new board files. You'll see there's board files for many different types of boards. If you want to make your life easier, you can copy them all across. But in these videos, we'll only ever refer to the Nexus 4 DDR and the Nexus A7100T. Copy them into the board files folder, and that's it. 
That's it for this video guys. In the next one, we'll go through starting a new project and understanding the files used by Vivado. Thanks for watching and cheers for now.